Hi Aries, welcome to your reading and this is for Aries Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, then it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Aries, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click the link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. And if you want to book a personal reading, there's also an instruction on the description box. Just follow the instructions. If you are in the Twin Flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card or channeled messages. Please subscribe to the other channel that's Timeless Tarot 111. And I would gladly appreciate if you can click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below. So, Aries, let's begin. I can see here someone is trying to kind of block or having a hard time to express their feelings right now. Probably this because that the other person was kind of, let's say, blocking, putting walls into getting into union. You might also probably connect with someone that you have a soul bound with. Let's just say with the King of Cups, this person and now is having a hard time of reaching now to the other person. Um, this could be you. This could be the Cross Watchers. So Cross Watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, um, so be it. And Aries, if you feel like you are in a Cross Watcher side, well, that's okay. Um, I'm not um, reading which side you at. I'm reading the energies here so some is also having a hard time or probably had an idea um, of what's going on on the other side um, probably it's a matter of let's say an instinct perhaps or a gut feeling that they are that they don't want to talk right now it could be that they are busy or doing really something so the other person here could be you it could be the other person was kind of like having a hard time to reach out or talk so less communication to no communication um, most probably this is more of an energetic separation you're not on the same page not on the same boat whatever you want to call it with a five of swords here and the magician but someone's still persisting or let's just say if not persisting this is more of manifesting you know kind of like summoning the other person can you still you know um, reach me out um, I still want to continue the connection can you just give me um, an idea of what's going on in the situation so I can see here that someone is trying to revive the situation here um trying to revive the old flame trying to revive the let's say the dynamics um but it felt like let, let's say with the ten of swords right ten of swords is more of this person feels like that the connection is dying the connection not a person it is I'm not predicting that here. Um, more of the temperance, right? Um, sometimes they're okay with that. Sometimes they're kind of getting crazy or, you know, having this little um, anxiety, if I may say, with a ton of swords, trying to reach out with the other person, um, trying to revive the old flame, like what I said. So I can see here that someone's still patiently waiting for the other person to provide them their time with the Ace of Swords here, still hoping that the connection would still continue. Although I can sense here that this connection is still gonna, you know, um, still gonna prosper. There will be a reconciliation. I think that this separation is just temporary. Um, the reason being here is because, let's say, the other person here is doing what 
they know is best for them. The thing here is um, the focus of the other person is more personal rather than us being partners or being, you know, together. Um, I can see here still that the wish will be fulfilled here. I can also sense that um, someone just turned their back, probably uh, turned their back on the connection. Probably it's because of um, they, they, the person who turned back here, who don't want to talk, still loves you um, or still loves the person. With the Five of Wands, there's just a lot of things that's going on. With the Five of Wands, there's also a possibility that you are um, in a competition with other energies here. Let's say Five of Wands, more of, let's say, it, it could also be a person. It could also be their dreams, their goals, their aspirations in life or what have you. But I can sense here, this is, again, very temporary because with the Nine of Cups, Still, it will go into continue. It may take a little while here, but this person will get into their senses. The person who don't want to talk, the person who kind of like really busy, um, kind of like the universe will tap them in, you know, on their shoulders. And I can see here an announcement from them. The announcement here is more of a good news, right? With the Six of Wands. Um, I just want to know why there is a nine of wands here why the walls are still there um it's more of there's a lot of questions um when am i going to really have probably a real commitment or where when can i fulfill my dreams um i think that there is a lot of time wasted with the five of cups right um crying over spilled milk um i think that this person um trying to continue you know, are, are trying to move move on or get their dreams while they're waiting. So I can see with the Nine of Cups, this is, again, a temporary separation, whether it is physical or energetic. Although I can see here the announcement will be for reconciliation because this person, even though that they, they, that they turn their back on you, the cup is still there. All right? Are you in this situation, Aries? Because if you do, let me know in the comment section. Um... And if you have some personal questions or you want to book a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. Just follow the instructions. You might be connecting with a Gemini. I can see your Leo. The zodiac signs here can be a placement in your chart, your person's sun sign, or a placement in their chart. Again, a Gemini, a Leo. Um, Pisces is here. Sagittarius is here. I can see also Libra. Did I say Leo? All of the elements are here. So this is your reading. Thank you so much. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye, Aries.